most people in America are familiar with what is and isn't where you're at. But where you're at in your soul is not always where you're at in your profession. Or where you're at in your profession is not always where you're at in your personal life. But where you're at in your personal life isn't always where you're at with the Lord's house. You see, the Lord might have protected your life, He might have saved your life, or you might have been a life saver to everyone. I recently saw a video that I really was moved by, and I don't think as many people were moved by it is not true. I think a lot of people might have been moved by the actual genuine emotion that I saw. And maybe I'm oversensitive to it, or maybe I'm just observant, or maybe I'm just like everybody else, watching a girl express how she feels the fortune of having left the Twin Towers. Now that was more than 20 years ago when we used to kind of do a celebration of that, but how do you move forward from God rescuing you? I mean, how do you move forward from the Lord helping you? A lot of people want to hit on behalf of the Lord. And I have to tell you from personal experience, God can hit a human being's life with the wave of his hand. He doesn't need a human being to hit someone. I know this personally from experience, that when I first saw the girl that I love sitting outside of a Panera shop on a summer day, I wasn't really dressed appropriately, I felt, to see her because I was in shorts and I had never really done that before before. But she was sitting out there, marvelously relaxed, working on her computer, probably working hard to provide for her children while they were out at play or with their mom that day or maybe at school. I can't remember exactly what month it was. But it was after kind of a breakdown in our communication. And openly, I was so angry at God for telling me no, I couldn't go and speak with her that I just was about did an about face and said, fuck it, I'm not going to listen, God. And with that, the angel of the Lord slammed me to the floor inside the Panera. And at that point, I realized that God had a power that most Americans, most people in the world, never experience. Maybe it's because they weren't as submitted to God as me, or maybe because God had such a plan for me and plan for her that he said, it's not time, she's not ready, she's not mature enough, and you can't handle the rejection right now. You just lost your marvelous wife, you missed your son, and openly, it's not time. Knowing what time it is in your life is really important. Knowing how to play the time in life is also important. But people who waste God's time in life are really losing. I've been studying a website that I can tell has been designed by a very young and immature in business and in life designer. While I love some of the photographs of the individual that have been taken by a very relatively, I know his name, famous photographer, and having been an old school photographer, I pay attention to photographers and magazines and whatnot, and I've heard them from time to time on talk shows, so I know some of those more important names. But what makes me seethingly angry is how I don't see the soul of that incredible woman captured in those photographs. I'm not going to tell you the website because I don't think that we fair or kind. But what I feel is that I'm missing something. I also know some of the photographs aren't her, and I'm okay with that. I've seen RuPaul even do that, and I don't mean there's any comparison between the two because they're both very unique, very different individuals with different ranges of moderations of success. What frustrates me about the site incredibly is that some of the best content isn't flashing on the front page, and some of the worst content is on the front stage. And I guess what also bothers me is that there's no way to reach out and immediately connect to get a person hired from that company. It's also unclear who does their social media, and if it's a company that I reviewed that says in the bottom, you know, footnote and footprint of who did the website, I'm not impressed. What I see is a bunch of women who don't know what the fuck they're doing in business. Now, it's very possible that woman is making billions of dollars. It's very possible she has a lot of clients she's consulting. But what I don't see in the process of the website is an evaluation process to ensure that the persons that are interested in her business are going to help her with the longevity of her business. And that makes me concerned. Because once you're an it girl in Hollywood, you can be a flash in a pan or you can be quickly run off road to the place that God wants you to go by other people that want to claim you, other people that want to be in fame with you, and other people that just don't fucking get out of your photographs. 